Fellas, hey, how you been? <clears throat> Long time no see ya. Oh, it's been quite the spring. You know how life takes over once in a while. Did in the shoulder. Son hurt his back, so had the kids for a week or so. Oh, had a little trouble with AFib. I had to have the cardio version. Shocked me back into submission. Smashed my finger in the lawnmower. Didn't know how to do that without being rude. <laughs> Behave. Okay. Anyway, and now that it's spring, oh my goodness, every weekend is mow and help the wife in the yard. And we ordered 10 yards of rock and we put in a fire, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, enough of the nagging. Let's get to the, the heart of the matter. Uh, last week I went to see my parents over in Idaho um, for a week and stopped at their Hobby Lobby over there. And picked up this bad boy. It's the little one. But it's the one with the silver plating. So all you really have to do on it is some weathering. It's not really chrome. It's, it's just a it's just a nice silver. So I have the big one of course. and But every once in a while I like one that I can just put together. Because I get so far behind. And, and I feel like I never get anything done. It's just so busy around here right now. I am looking to half retire. I'm 62 this year, so I hope hopefully I'll go to half time. Uh, at the end of July, I'm, I'll be 62, so maybe August, September, or maybe by the first of the year for sure. And then I'll get a little more time in here, hopefully. Uh, okay, my friend Steve Minion from Minion Model. Um, Minion. I might have drawn a blank. Minion. Uh, Minion. Car, oh my goodness! <laughs> anyway, Steve, you know who you are. He uh, sent me this wonderful gift, a nice uh, Star Trek book that was his, and thought I might enjoy it. And wrote some nice words, thank you, buddy. Um, so I don't have much time in the summer to read. Obviously, I don't even get in here. But in the winter, when the weather gets bad and it gets dark here at four thirty and five o'clock, uh, I get some more reading done. So. Looking forward to digging into that this uh, coming fall and, and winter. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, now, uh, working on the... Uh, before all the bad stuff hit, I was working on the Franklin, and I did get some of the uh, the main parts all painted here. And uh, I've got some of the lighting done. I need to start the uh, some weathering and uh, putting in the windows with the... Um, Oh, with the resin and the, the tape. I'll show that in another video because my buddy Ron Orr with the Sci-Fi Model Shop asked me to show that. So I will show it uh, next time I'm working on it. Um, also, I got out this little tenant controls board. It does the strobe lights. And this, you move this little blue thing from peg to peg and it changes the, the flashing of the strobes. And, uh, and the... Still got the instructions, which is rare for me. Uh, but I plugged the whole thing up, you know, to a battery to try it out, and smoke just started rolling out the top of it. So, <laughs> some wire touched some wire that shouldn't have. And uh, so, I'm sure that one's fried, but luckily I bought four. So, I will get out another one, and this time I will be more careful to make sure the wires don't touch. Um, I got some putty here I wanted to show you. It's uh, ultraviolet putty from Green Stuff World. And it's great because you can, you know, put it in the crevices or whatever you need to putty and you can work it with your finger or, you know, a Q-tip or something. And then it doesn't get hard until you hit it with the old uh, ultraviolet light, you know, the purple UV light uh, to harden it up. So it is great to work with. Now, I've only tried it on uh, the um, all the stuff that you 3D print. I've only tried it with that. I have not tried it with styrene. Uh, so I'm not sure. I don't want to say it works great on styrene because I don't know yet. Um, and then I got this, and it's been so long. I tried it and I hated it. And uh, I saw another video uh, where the fella didn't like it. I'm sorry, I can't remember whose it was. Um, it started hardening before I could, you know, even get it to work, and it it was hard to work with. It was more um, coarse, I guess, and wasn't as smooth as this stuff. I don't remember exactly the. Uh, all the details, but uh, the Tamiya stuff, 
I wasn't too pleased with. Um, Augie at uh, Sci-Fi, what do I want to call it? Oh, Interstellar Modeler uh, did a review on these are uh, for uh, dry brushing and uh, looked pretty nice. I didn't have anything, and I want to do some dry brushing on this Franklin, so uh, I went ahead and got me one of those on his recommendation. So we'll see how that works. Um, and I've also been looking for some kind of silver uh, to do. Oh, I have several silver ships. The you know the the bigger Mandalorian Razor Crest is one, and then I have the Enterprises from uh, <clears throat> the NXO ones and those, those kind of things. And I saw someone do a video on this uh, chrome. I'm sorry, not chrome. Gloss aluminum, and uh, it looked really nice. So I thought I'll give that a try because I have several silvers and I don't like the way they look, you know, for the ships. But those look pretty good, so we're going to give that a whirl. Okay, now I think I'm just babbling, so I think we'll move on. So thanks, you guys, for watching. Uh, God bless you all. Make it so.